Tommy, Dave, I can only imagine you're uh, bitterly disappointed after that this afternoon. We are. It's not nice, obviously, getting beaten. Um, winning's a habit, and that's something that I said in my in my notes before the game and I genuinely think that it's it's, it's not nice to lose games of football um, but if you'd spoken to me beforehand and said look FA Trophy do you want to beat Redditch or do you want to beat them in the league my priority like I said is the league so we now know what Redditch are all about the boys have seen it for themselves um, one a reaction now uh, back to the league on Saturday and I think we need it today um, away from league action a little bit not so much pressure if you like and then we have a good week at it now and then also go again next Saturday. Of course yeah, the goal came quite early, 13 minutes, gave you a lot of time to maybe recover and score that equaliser and then push on from that. Didn't really happen did it? No it didn't, I think we we probably had two or three chances before they scored um, that we didn't take and we challenged the boys for the game, like, how ruthless can we be? You know, you need, you, you come up against good teams, you, you do need to start taking your chances when you get on. Um, and unfortunately for us, they went down the opposite end and, and the punished is one shot, one goal. This is a, a point in case maybe of uh, the five teams at the top of the league that you're going to have to play, that you're going to have to take points from if it comes to the end of the season, you want to be up there in the top three? Yeah, it is. And um, that's something, you know, that, that that's a challenge for us. We've we've now put ourselves in that position where, like you say, we, we do need to be, like, beat the top boys now. We, we need to take points off every single team we play, not just the top boys. It's now how consistent can we be from now to the end of the season. Of course, the two talking points in the game both happened in the second half. What I thought of them were quite poor tackles. Um, the referee hasn't really helped Corby out in dealing with them. Is that your opinion? Football is a physical sport. Um, I like that type of football, but at the same time, football has progressed so probably over the last 10 years and now tackles like that are sending off tackles. The minute you leave the floor or it's late, it's a, it's a straight red. So, you know, the game's evolved now um, and, and things like that are not normally tolerated, but they were. Not not going to criticise the referee, Chuck, so you can keep digging for that one. Um, but no, we we came up against a good, a tricky, t a very tricky side today, I thought. Um, pace up front, a lot of energy and a lot of youthism through the side and, and they were hungry. So where do you go from here? Another game, the next game, it's moving on, you've got to march forward. It is, back to the league, um, that's that, that's our bread and butter, that's that's obviously what we want to achieve this year is promotion, so I'm not going to be too downhearted about today, and I've just said that to the boys. Um, the only benefit of the cup competitions is the, is the financial reward, obviously with the prize money, so I'll have to go and apologise to the, the, the chairman. Um, the boys, like I say, we, they gave it the all in the second half, that they showed the commitment, um, I thought we were a bit sluggish first half, to be honest with you, but we weren't quite there today and uh, credit to Ridge, I thought they had a game plan and they stuck to it. Come to the end of uh, April and you're uh, top of the league and I look back and say those, those two games in the Cup, the FA Cup and the Trophy, you'll take them now, won't you? I will. Um, I've said that, you know, we've, we're in the Hillier Cup, we're in the Reading Shore Cup, we can't, we have got a a squad to compete, but at the same time, your squad's there for suspensions and injuries, not to be so successful in all the cup competitions. I would take promotion right now, even to be up there at the end of the season. It, that, that, that's the priority for me and Dave. Dave, coming to you, uh, a different game for you, different uh, week for you this week. You didn't get so much involved as you did last week running the line. Happier on the bench today? Yeah, sure, it's where I'm meant to be. So I'm here to support Tommy and uh, bring some bounce ideas off me. So uh, this week, put the flag down and uh, uh, Tommy in my ear instead. Any complaints about the goal? No complaints. Uh, decent. They've, they've got a, a good uh, good few lads going forward. I thought the number nine was very good. Um, they've had one chance, he slipped him through, and uh, it's a great, good finish. Uh, clinical, they're clinical, and uh, that's something we can learn. We we do get in and we do get chances, but we've got to learn to finish them chances. That's uh, yeah. Okay, then thanks very much, <laughs> Jenna. Uh, do you think yes, you remain in your captain form alone? I think any side will miss the likes of Paul Malone and Shane Byrne. Um, they'll be a welcome boost for us next week. Obviously, with Eddie's suspension next Saturday, Molly will be thrust straight back into the lineup, and now he's got a full week of training to obviously get himself up to speed. Um, is that three, four weeks yeah, away from months. it now? So we've got a week now to get him like, up to speed. So it'll, it'll be a welcome boost back. 
Okay, and um, how are you going to keep the boys' confidence up after that um, disappointing loss? If the boys' confidence isn't up with being second in the league in the run that we've had um, off the back of such a good month, um, then I don't know what will um, spur them on to be even more confident. I think that might have been our downfall today is the fact that we probably went on too confident, if anything. Um, we, we set up, we told them all about Redditch and their threats, and ironically, they scored from their threat. Okay, so you won't be underestimating Redditch next time when you meet them in a few weeks? No, we didn't underestimate Redditch at all. We knew Redditch's capabilities, and you know we now need to get back to the drawing board next time we play them. And you know, luckily for us, they do come to Steel Park before we go there, so we'll be looking to put that one right. Okay, so we're expecting um, some great things next week when Steelmen are still in their top form. Yeah, like we said, we want to, we we do need to keep, like um, maintain this current form, we had a great October, we've given the boys the points target from November and that's what we need to keep doing now, we need to keep plugging away at points and the targets and, and see where we're at after that period. Okay, well, that's great. Thank you. Thank you.